What's up guys and welcome back to On The Brick, where today I just wanted to ask a simple question. See, on Tuesday I put out my review of the giant Eclipse class Dreadnought mock from Jorstad Designs. It's this incredible 10,000 plus piece build that has a huge full interior. And on that same day, LEGO officially announced the UCS AT-80, a 6700 piece set which actually costs twice as much as the Eclipse by the way and also has a full interior. Personally, I believe both of these are incredible models, and whether they're worth the price or not is entirely up to you. However, I do have to ask, are the interiors really necessary? And I'm gonna tell you right now, that's the point of this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'm gonna go into mine now. Because along with all these Star Wars sets, custom mocks, all that stuff, one line from LEGO that I absolutely love is the modular theme. I have a full row of them stretching all the way back to the palace cinema. They even have lights and everything, it's actually a really nice display if I can say so. However, the full interiors has always been a point of contention for me. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually really like them, I like all the details and everything that goes into them. But the thing is, I never open these up. Literally the only time I ever open them up is to put the lights inside or fix them. Otherwise, they stay closed and on display. The same is true for my UCS Millennium Falcon, which doesn't have a full interior, but does have an interior. The same is true for my Papa Glop version of the Razor Crest. And of course, for the Eclipse or any other set I own which contains an interior. If it's not a playset designed specifically for that, I'm probably not opening it up. I bought the UCS Super Star Destroyer way back when it came out, and I've literally never looked at the play feature of that build. And the reason why is kind of what I just said. These are not playsets. Mocks like the Razor Crest or the Eclipse are both definitely display pieces. And if you're buying them using real LEGO, you're going to spend close to or over a thousand dollars on the pieces. Anyone who's willing to or capable of doing that probably isn't opening them up just to play with them. And these official LEGO sets are now in the 18 plus category, which me means adults, or in other words, people who aren't actively going to be sitting down and playing with these things. When people ask me if I like LEGO, especially after they find out the channel, I always try to say that I don't play with LEGO, I collect it, because there is actually a difference. When I was much younger, I played with LEGO. I tore apart the sets, I flew around the gunships, I messed around with the minifigures, I made stories and everything with them. But now, just like plenty of other people with plenty of other things, I collect it. I buy these things to basically put on a shelf and say, wow, that looks really nice, and I had the satisfaction of putting it together. It's like the difference between action figures and hot toys. You can go and buy a $6 action figure to play with and do whatever you want with and it'll be totally fine. And while you could absolutely collect those, and plenty of people do, they are specifically meant and designed to be played with. But hot toys are these things that cost hundreds of dollars, are much more detailed, much more intricate, and definitely not meant to be played with. These are 100% collector's pieces meant to be put on display. And that's why I'm torn on these giant sets having interiors. Because I really do like the design of this AT-80. I actually enjoy the fact that it has a full interior. But the thing is, once I finish building it, it's never going to be seen again. It's going to be displayed completely closed up because why would I have it with open panels? To each their own of course and that's the point of this video. Maybe you will enjoy having this thing displayed wide open with the full interior showing. But the other side to this I also wanted to briefly talk about was the price. Without a full interior in this at, -AT there would probably be a thousand fewer pieces which would definitely make this price cheaper. Think about it, if the interior of this AT-80 was just a full Technic build to keep it sturdy, this might be closer to a 4,000 piece set and a much cheaper price. And while there would definitely be the crowd of people complaining about no interior, I don't think it would end up mattering in the end as the significantly cheaper price would probably be worth it. 
On the other hand, and I'm probably going to make a full video about this, I hate that LEGO keeps throwing out these $800 sets. It's just ridiculous. Personally, I don't think mocks are any different either. Again, the Eclipse is a wonderful build, and I had a great time putting it together, and it was fun seeing all the interior pieces. But I'm literally never going to see them again either, because I'm not taking those panels off. There's no easy way to display it with the top panels off. It's quite a process, actually, and even then, if I wanted to get to something like the throne room, I have to take half of the interior off. On the other hand, I think something like Papa Glop's Razor Crest is more okay in that regards as the build is meant to open up so you can get to these different interior sections. And of course, some people strive for the utmost of accuracy when making these custom builds, so in those specific cases, I can see a full interior being necessary. But I think the best example of a happy medium is actually Brick Vault's Sandcrawler, which does not have a full interior, but does have just enough of one. What I mean by this is it has both a cockpit on the top with some pretty easy access and if you lower the ramp in the front there's a whole section there. Now while the cockpit will pretty much never be seen, the interior area of the ramp is pretty easy to display in a natural way. All you have to do is lower the ramp, and there you go. But the other two-thirds of the build are just a Technic structure to hold this thing together. There's no interior back there, and I think that's perfectly fine. So, to sum up my thoughts, I think collector sets like Giant Mox or UCS sets should not come with play features because that's not what they're for. And interiors, if used, should not come with the idea of being a play feature, but instead should be used for display or to enhance the display. But those are my thoughts, and now I would love to know yours, so please let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Remember to like or dislike depending on your agreement or disagreement, and subscribe if you would like to see more. And if you haven't already, I would appreciate it if you checked me out on Discord, Instagram, and of course on Patreon, where your growing contributions really go a long way towards helping out this channel. You can sign up for as little as a dollar a month, or for even more, get shoutouts like Jonathan and Project Elements. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.